If you've been following this journey so far, you'll know that we've done the adults world upstairs, the kids world on the middle level. So now it's time to go to the bottom level of the house, which is going to become family world. And we're connecting it all together with this amazing staircase. And in this episode, we'll also show you the dining space, guest bathroom and laundry. So in this existing space used to be my mother-in-law's living quarters. And as you can see, she had her bedroom there with a wardrobe and that's where we're going to put the new staircase and dining room. And then the bathroom that was always there, we're actually gonna keep exactly where it is, but just create a new entrance to it and obviously restyle it. And the former kitchen is going to turn into the laundry. Glass balustrade over a void. Think Beecroft, think house three, the staircase next to the void. Wow, so you're, so we're gonna walk in and then there's gonna be a void and that goes down to Bev's. Well yeah, her yeah. old area, which will now be the family zone. So my inspo for the void and really for the whole house came from our third Three Birds project, house number three, where we did this beautiful void and adjoining staircase that completely opened up the downstairs level. And then the staircase, so much inspo. I'm loving the look of open treads to bring in lots of natural light. And for the laundry, I'm feeling quite inspired by this particular shot I found on Pinterest with pebble flooring. I don't know if it's a bit crazy, I'll have to see what Bond thinks, but I think pebble flooring could be really exciting. So above me here is the one ton beam that the guy's got the crane to lift into place. Once it's all propped up, knock these out. So knock this out, this out, this out, and that's just gonna totally create open plan living down here, which is probably one of the biggest transformations we're making to this level. This is what I love to see, beams being removed so that I get a higher ceiling height. So this is an old beam that used to hold it up, but now that we've got this big, huge beam in, and we've got the, the beautiful joists and the wall, we don't need this beam anymore. Well, that's what the builders tell me anyway. Hey, um, did you get that link? I just texted you a link, a realestate.com article. We haven't had much time to talk about my stairs, and I came across this article, and it's got sort of like some great ideas, and to be honest, it's got two pictures, which are stairs that I love, and I just wanted to show you how the frame, frameless glass is working. I just, I don't know why, I always, in, I always thought that you would have um, treads that were all closed in. I was thinking the natural light, I wanted to come in, you know, downstairs, and I feel that if we box in that staircase, it's gonna be dark. Mm, no, but it won't be. You've got the void, you're gonna have that huge window in the staircase, you've got the huge window both right and left of the staircase. There's gonna be so much light, you're gonna need sunglasses in your house. I think you need something to really anchor that space. Yeah, all right, okay, well, um, um, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> We're now in what's going to be the laundry. So best to try and test your paint colours in the space that you're going to be in. And we want to do one oh, wall right. yeah. that's going to be sort of a sea foamy green yeah. with pebble tiles. Yes. So we're going to try that here. And um, what have you got? I have dew plank quarter. And I'm going to try out white box half. I know it's all about the light. See, look how greeny the dew point looks. See, I really like that. So do I. Dew point half. It's a bit grubbier. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. When are you removing this floor for the stairs? Well, as soon as we've got this and Neil throws the gyp rock, gyp rock up, here. up Which the plan is for Saturday. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And these are my two windows with the curtains. In between, I've got to get these curtains from somewhere. This space here where I'm standing is going to be insane. I'm a little bit torn because I wanted open risers, which means you can see through them. But Bon advised against it and she convinced me. So they're building it now and I love seeing the natural light come through, so I hope I still love it as much once they box it all in. Oh my god, 
Do you know what? I cannot see how another set of treads is fitting in there. Is that worrying you? Bull. Yeah, because like if that was serious, then I was, I was worried. Are you? I don't want you to hide anything from me. 180, 180, 150. And how come? The laser cutters are wrong. Bottom one's right, the middle one's wrong. I'm going to get back here tomorrow on Wednesday. Yeah, you've ready. got to come back. I know. So, all's quiet on the staircase front now because unfortunately the guys have had to tools down and go and fix up an issue with the way the steel was cut. It wasn't cut exactly quite right. So it means they've got to go re-weld it, re-powder coat it and come back. And I just hope they do come back like tomorrow or the next day. So unfortunately, this is as far as we get today, which is I guess the way things happen. It doesn't all go to plan. You just got to breathe and cope with it. So I have to choose my taps. It's amazing how early in the reno you have to choose your taps. And I'm on the Dorf website and I think these are the ones that will work well with the tiles in the guest bathroom. So I love this design called Myriad Cross. And I just love that the taps are this little cross shape with a circular flange. And I think the round flange is gonna work really well with the roundness of the fish scale tiles. What? Did you want a niche in here to put your stuff on? Oh, we mi so... we, I missed the boat on that. No, no, they can cut it in now. No, it's too late. Why? Because Anthony and I, this is, um, this is brick behind here. So the staircase is turning out better than I ever imagined. And everyone who visits here, tradies, delivery people, whatever, say, oh my God, I love the stairs. And in particular, they love the timber treads and risers, the outline here. But I always plan to paint them white. But now I'm torn. Do I paint them white or do I keep them as is? No! Yeah, Bond, Bond, that's, that's, that's the, the, the way the stairs were always going to be. I they know, were always going to be all white. White underneath, white edging. They will still I look think they look like a friggin' show. amazing how they are. I just I just think I think you need to wait. Please wait until your white floors are down. Yeah, well, they're going down tomorrow. So can you wait until they go down then re-look at it? Because I personally think your house needs that. You know we're catching it if it drops. Yeah, I reckon it's perfect. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to go lower. No, 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 no. So the staircase is almost finished. We're waiting on the final rail that will just sit on the top of the glass here. And look, if you're anything like Erin, you might be worried about kids and safety and the glass balustrade. But we've used the beautiful 12 millimetre thick glass from Viridian. Safe as houses. What do you think? The table, not me. The I love table. the table. Perfecto, and they're all balanced, see? Beautiful. Oh, Where's so all this from? It's all from Freedom. This the whole, this thing. whole thing is from Freedom. It is, and I will say it, I think, because if it wasn't here, the whole house would feel completely different. It is the yes. best thing in the house. I can't believe where we've ended up, which is the most beautiful staircase ever. I feel I've ever seen. No, me too, ever, ever, ever seen. I mean, I even did push back on you when it was um, that really beautiful, soft um, timber. Timber, yeah. Oh, I had to fight hard to paint that. Yeah, oh so no, everyone kept that saying, leave oh, it. that timber's beautiful, why are you painting it? Yeah, but honestly, you were right because it needed to be all white. It really did. And at the view back, when you're standing in that bottom room and you look up and you see the, just that zigzag of that step, it is just so amazing. Yeah, so the tile choice in this house, we went for obviously the gorgeous individual fish scale. And we thought, okay, if we're going to do it up the top, let's do it down the bottom as well, but let's do it in a more muted, softer tone. Well, laundries these days, and I think 
a lot of people are kind of tending to go that way. They're a little bit more fun. But we still stuck with that really raw kind of Mediterranean feel in that we use the stone. It feels so beautiful. Oh, and they feel on your feet. You feel like you're on holidays. And I think you've actually got heating us. Yeah. Underfloor heating. So in winter, they're hot rocks. Mm. I'm going to have the local mums lining up for some hot rock therapy. The only place that she can have the skylights is sitting in between them, can she? But this looks like it's going to happen real fast. This is the nicest house I've ever seen in my life. Oh, stop it. It is. Yeah.